Okay, so um, what you need to do is shift the list of each one of those lines that you, vertical lines that you have, so instead of going straight across, it'll go, you know, over and up. So right after here in this area, you're going to need to shift every other list for the line, and to get the X's, you'll need to do it sort of for both sides and then recombine them. Um, there may be an easier way to do this, but this was the quickest way I could think of. So um, if we take a look at it, this first part of the definition here is just basically, you know, the divisions for that guy. Um, and then if you come over here, um, you'll see that your lines, these guys get dispatched into two groups, right? And then they get divided separately, right? I just pulled out the divides um, so they were easier to see. So if I preview that one, right, there's the divide for those lines. And then this one is the divide for the other lines, right? So they're separated out already. And then I just take them and individually, I break the lists out. And right now I've only got four. You would need a bigger bang. You know, you can add things to the bang here. Um, and then you just shift the list by one, right? And so it takes each one of these guys and pushes the number list up or down, right? So if I do a um, point, point list on the shift, and make it a little bit, right? You can see that one goes, see how it shifts the zero from the bottom, you know, so, and then if you do it before the shift, right, that zero is going to be at the bottom. So we're basically just shifting the point, right, just like Corey did in the dome. Um, and then you just take the unshifted points and the shifted points and recombine them. Um, and what happens is you get these guys, right? Um, which work pretty well, except you'll notice that there's like a long line, right? A big X that goes from the top and the bottom. So to get rid of that, you would come in and just cull the last index um, of the which you do with the negative one. And that gives you just that, right? And then you can pipe it. And that's what you get, right? But I would think maybe there might be some way to go in and do a s continuous line that does that between the two, but I'm not sure. I have to think about that a little bit more. But if you pipe the vertical lines like you were doing, then you won't see the breaks, right? Because those would come in and sort of cover that up. But um, it does work with the twist, so you can see it twisting. Right, um, and you should be able to, you know, change the divisions. This may, oops, right, and it'll do that. Um, if you come in and change the, what is the one that's changing? Because that's the eight, it's a ninety. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it seems to work fairly well.